Welcome to the digital how-to series. Today I'm going to show you how you can optimize your campaign performance. This is one of the most tricky aspects that people struggle with when it comes to managing campaigns, um, specifically in this case Google Ads campaigns. So first off, as you're probably familiar with, um, in Google Analytics you can come into the acquisition section, select whatever date range is appropriate, and there it's going to break down your performance by channel and then tell you how many goals have actually been attained. In this case, we've got a whole bunch of different goal types from click to mail, tap to call on the mobile, filling out a thank you inquiry page, etc. So a whole bunch of different goals here. If I just switch to all goals, we'll then see all of the goals against each channel. So then how do you go about optimizing a Google paid campaign? So to make these things really simple, let's um, jump into the ads platform. Let's just choose the last 60 days for sake of argument and press apply. And then just critically make sure that you are in including the relevant columns in the data before you download that data. So at this point, I'm in the campaign level view. And what I've done is in this column section is make sure that there's a couple of key columns that are appearing. So in this case, we've got um, search impression share and we've got cost conversion and conversion rate included in the columns. So let's just apply that. Then what we can do is download that data into Excel. So let's just wait for that to download. And then what we want to do is to try and apply a really simple method that doesn't require too much maths in order to make some really simple um, decisions. So here we've got the data. What I would normally do is just kind of get rid of the columns that um, cause um, confusion through too much to look at. So knowing the currency, the daily budget, um, I'll probably keep, um, keep the budget in there but remove the one that just says daily because it doesn't really help. The one that says eligible I'd get rid of. The optimization score I'd get rid of. I'll keep what campaign type it is. I'm going to get rid of the bid strategy at the end. And then the columns that are really important for any optimization purpose are this one, so cost, um, the impression share, so the number of times you're showing, and then very, very importantly, the conversions. So if you only ever focus on these um, columns, it makes things pretty simple. So if I'm just going to delete these totals down the bottom so it just says total account because I know what type of campaign it is from this column here. And then I'm going to add two columns to the end. And this principle is pretty much the same for all campaigns. So what I'm going to do is add percent cost and then percent conversions. Or if it's e-commerce, do percent revenue. Then if I take the percentage of the cost for that campaign and then divide it into the total cost of the campaign. So let's just anchor that one there. Just change that to a percentage. I can then say, OK, well how much of the total cost is coming from that YouTube video campaign or the Search Network Digital Marketing Agency campaign. And then I'm going to do exactly the same thing for conversions. So I'm going to take how many conversions were there, divide that into the total number of conversions, and just place an anchor there. Change that to a percentage. Copy that down. Now, if I hide everything and just keep the campaign type, I don't have much data to look at. But this data here is super important. So what is this telling me? It's telling me that our YouTube video campaign is accounting for 51% of the cost, but 44% of all of the conversions. So the cost is more than the contribution to the conversions. However, the search network campaign, by contrast, is 24% of the cost and 34% of the conversions. So less cost for a greater percentage of the conversions. And then lastly, we've got this GDN remarketing campaign, 26% of the cost for 22% of the conversions. So you can see now, I've gone from having all of this data here back to a very simplistic view, which is how much did it account for in cost? How much did it account for in conversions? Which then enables me to take very simple decisions. So in this case, I might want to allocate less budget to um, YouTube because it is getting less contribution for its cost, whereas the search network I might want to allocate more budget to because it's getting greater conversion value than it is cost value. 
And then lastly, this one's 26 for 22, and it's an awareness campaign, so maybe I want to keep this one the same. So in very, very simplistic terms, download the data, um, and then make sure that you just simplify it. So in this case, all I've done is take percentage of the cost, percentage of the conversion, by comparing those two percentages, it enables you to understand very quickly what cost impact something's having and what value it's contributing, and therefore, should you be allocating more or less budget to that activity. And if you stick to this formula and keep it really simple, then it becomes very easy to actually allocate budgets according to the campaign performance, and that is how you optimize campaign performance.